This tutorial presents how to copy from one DVD disc to another DVD disc using the DVD Ranger software. Let's begin. Start the DVD Ranger software and insert your DVD disc. DVD Ranger will automatically detect the DVD disc that you insert. You will see a dialog appear asking what do you want Windows to do. Close this dialog and then DVD Ranger will ask do you want to create a copy from the new disc? Select Yes. Tell DVD Ranger the transfer action you wish to take. In this tutorial we are selecting the drop-down arrow on DVD Player and selecting Automatic Complete Copy. Your source was already automatically selected when you inserted your DVD disc, but you may of course change this. You can also use a USB or Firewire device using the refresh button. Select the target drive for your DVD burner. In this case, the machine only has one DVD drive, so the same drive was selected as source and target. There are several settings available. The first is the disk name. This DVD is named Big Buck Bunny. The rest of these settings can be left as their default. For the burn speed, the default setting is recommended. You can go with a faster burn speed, but some standalone DVD players might not play as well at the faster speed, so you'll have to look at your own equipment to make that determination. Enable Auto Erase is for when you're using RW blanks so that the DVD Ranger software will automatically erase or format the DVD before burning. The Verify After Burn setting indicates whether the software should verify that the burn completed successfully. Because DVDs are very large, this is a very time-consuming process. When you select the Eject After Burn setting, the DVD will eject after you're done burning. The Burn Proof Safe Burn setting will save the entire burn process. This is recommended if you intend to do a similar burn in the future, this will save all of your settings. The burn cache is where the temporary burn data is stored. Generally you need to increase this if you are using a network and the value can be decreased for a hard drive. The default value of 64 will work in either case. The direct menu jump setting will skip the trailers and any info screens. This will jump directly to the menu once you put the DVD in the player. This may not work on all DVDs. The double layer copy setting adjusts to 8.9 gig instead of 4.5 gig. The remove region code setting will make the disk region free. The auto remove DTS setting will remove the DTS audio which will save a lot of space and increase the quality of the DVD. The custom target size setting is for when you have a DVD that's not the standard 4.5 gig or 8.9 gig. The disk border setting is a deposit buffer. If the final copy is too big you can increase this value. After you have reviewed your settings select the Start Now button. The software will analyze your DVD, perform a pre-scan, and then start copying and transcoding your DVD. This may take a while. You can select the Automatically Shut Down the Computer When Done checkbox if you need to leave your computer. When DVD Ranger is done copying from the source DVD, it will then attempt to start burning to the target DVD. In this particular case, since the same DVD drive was used for source and target, DVD Ranger checks the drive and notes 
that it is right protected and indicates no writable medium present. DVD Ranger is asking to please insert a writable medium into the recording drive. And so, when you're using the same drive, remove the source DVD and replace it with the burnable blank DVD. If you get the What Do You Want Windows To Do prompt again, dismiss it. DVD Ranger will now copy your data to the target blank DVD. This may take a while. After the burn is complete, there is a finalized step. If there were any problems during the process, please use the Save Log button to create a log to send to DVD Ranger. You also have the option of making a new copy. You can change the device and you can create a file image. When you are ready, select Done and you're done.